CDC, uh, I think the, the, the book says unit support um, skills. I teach all the strange things that we did donkeys years ago that most people don't know about. Like tying two loads and rubbing two scouts together to make a fire. No, that's two sticks. <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, we're going to ask each one of these people. Can I say a few words? Oh, yes, sorry, Alan. Okay, so uh, welcome everyone to Elephant Park. For the purposes of today, you need to imagine that we are on the coast of Antarctica and Helen's going to hold the map up here so everyone can see it. Can you hold it up? So, I'm going to turn it around in a minute. So here is Elephant Island. It's right at the end of the Antarctic Peninsula uh, and it's a lot colder than it is right now, okay? If we turn it round, we'll show everyone. So it's, it's up here on the Antarctic Peninsula. So, I don't know if you can see in my book, there's two scouts. These two scouts actually went on Shackleton's final expedition to Antarctica. So, I did, I did some research, found out about these two scouts, and back in 1921, they went to Antarctica on, with Shackleton. So we decided uh, that we would take scouts 100 years later. I'm really pleased to say that we've successfully done that. Um, and for the whole of January, we went down to Antarctica, eight of us from Kent and two from Scotland, two Scottish scouts. These two that went originally were Scottish scouts. So we thought it was only appropriate that we took a couple of Scots with us as well. Uh, myself and Helen are uh, representing the team today, so we're two of the Kent Scouts that went. What happened was, uh, we held this service at Gilwell Park, which is the home of scouting, back in September last year. And then we held it in London, and it's been held at all the stops that the original expedition 100 years ago made. So Scouts have held this in Sheerness, in Gravesend, in Plymouth, in Lisbon, in Rio de Janeiro and it's been held all along the route of the original expedition. So when we got to Elephant Island, no one lives there and we had a big problem, what were we going to do for Elephant Island? Uh, so I, I googled it and found Elephant Park in Swanley. I thought, well, it'll do. <laughs> so I'm so, so impressed with the turnout today. Uh, it, uh, Helen said as she arrived, she was absolutely gobsmacked, I am, by the turnout. So thank you so much for supporting us and I'll hand back to Richard. So. Thank you. Well, welcome everybody to the Scout Zone. Um, we're now going to read from our cards, which is universal throughout the Scout Zone. Um, thank you young people for helping. And Scouts owns the Shackleton and Shackleton Scouts. I'm going to acknowledge the dignitaries, and you are the dignitaries. Thank you so much for supporting us all. The Scouts Home was first held in Gilwell Park at 11am on Sunday the 5th of September 2021, when a commemorative plaque to the Scouts Ma and Mooney was officially unveiled. The intention is then to pass on, share and hold the Scouts home with fellow Scouts around the world, all along the original route of Quest, 1921-22 voyage, exactly 100 years after Quest arrived at each location. This will include the Antarctic Peninsula using a facsimile, facsimile of the commemorative park. After returning from Antarctica, the request for the 21 team plan to hold the final reunion Scouts Home ceremony at Cordell Firth, in Scottish, as Scouts are to do, where a replica commemorative park will also be installed. The idea is to be set, to be released, to be released, Scouts, commemorative plaques. The inscription on the plaques reads as follows. Remember Jane and William Slesser Mar, 1902 to 1965, Norman Erland Mooney, 1905 to 1945, who took part in the 1921 Shackleton Express Expedition. Notes. The official expedition name was the Shackleton Rowett Expedition, 
However, like many of the expeditions of the heroic age, it was also referred to by the expedition ship, in this case, Quest. The larger commemorative plaque was unveiled on 5th September 2021, marking the Request 2021 expedition to Antarctica, 100 years after the two scouts sailed on Sir Ernest Shackleton's final voyage of exploration. The plaque was designed by stonemason Mark Brooks of Canterbury, Kent. A smaller replica plaque will be installed, installed at Cordell Furs, Scout HQ Scotland, by the Request 2021 team in 2022. Good afternoon, Chris Russell from the Longfield and Hartley Scouts, Group Scout Leader. The Shackleton Rowett Expedition. The Shackleton Rowett Expedition of 1921-22 was financed by Shackleton's friend, the businessman and philanthropist John Quiller Rowett. They had met during their school days at Dulwich College, London. In September 1921, the expedition sailed on the ship Quest with plans to survey the islands and navigate the routes of the Southern Oceans. On the 5th of January 1922, upon arrival at the island of South Georgia, Sir Ernest Shackleton, who was in ill health, died on board Quest. And it's the time, first from the Hexagon Scout Group, Scout Leader, the boss, as I knew him. An extract from the book of the quest, 1929. The boss, as I knew him, by Dr. Leonard Hussey, a member of Sir Ernest Shackleton's last two expeditions. To have known Sir Ernest Shackleton was a privilege, but to have worked with him, shared his hardships and his adventures, and to have secured his friendship was a privilege accorded to a few. I count myself very fortunate that I was one of those few. He had a great admiration for the Boy Scout movement, so much so that he took two scouts, Ma and Mooney, with us on the last expedition on the quest. Sir Ernest was one of the greatest Englishmen that the world has ever seen, and we lost our best friend when he went. Still, we try to carry about him and hearing of him. He is still very near to us, and in carrying on his ideals and his traditions, we feel that he is attaining true immortality, and, his, and that as long as Englishmen and English boys can appreciate a true man, Shackleton's name will be held up as an example and as an ideal. He would desire no fitter epitaph than
Ben Fuller, member of Twenty District Network and assistant club leader for Spurs Tottenham Hill Scouting. Request 2021. Ken Scouts, Request 2021, Antarctic Research Project, marks the centenary of the Shaxton Rowett Expedition. A team of, of 10 scouts from Kent and Scotland explore the waters and island of the Antarctic during January 2022 in keeping with the spirit of the original expedition. Request 2021 is carrying out research projects with the theme of peace, heritage and environment and aims to leave a lasting legacy to inspire young people to explore the world around them. The project itself has 10 objectives shown, shown here. So the first one, voyage, participate as a member of the crew on the bark Europa on a voyage to Antarctica. The second one, projects, undertake personal projects which will keep with each team member presenting their results. Number three, centenary, hold centenary flag ceremonies in both the UK and Antarctica. Number four, plaques, unveil commemorative plaques to scouts Mars and Mooney in England and Scotland. Five, outreach, involve young people in a series of fun and educational outreach activities. Number six, Thames, host a pre-expedition PR event in Tower Bridge on Friday the 17th of September 2021. Devon Plymouth participate in the Devon and Cornwall Polar Society centenary events in Plymouth. Number eight, Shackleton, celebrate and pay respects to the achievements of Sir Ernest Henry Shackleton. Number nine, links, build strong links with the scouts in other countries on the original expedition route. Number 10, legacy, leave a lasting scouting polar research legacy inspired by scouts Ma works on Krill. Hello, my name's Jake Fuller. I'm also a Swanee District Network member and assistant club leader of First Trogon Hill Scout Group. Uh, 10 to the power of 3. The project can be summed up as 10 cubed. 10 to the power of 3. 10 scouting ambassadors, 8 from Kent and 2 from Scotland, sailing on a tall ship in Antarctica. 100 years after the original Shackleton Rowett Quest expedition back in 1921. Thousands of young people engaged and educated about the three key lessons of peace environment and heritage to be learned from this amazing, fragile, frozen southern continent. 10 scouting ambassadors sailing on a tall ship, a hundred years after the original expedition. Hello, my name is Caitlin Finch from First Crock and Hill Scouts. Shackleton's last diary entries. Ernest Shackleton died of heart failure in the early hours of the morning of the 5th of January 1922. These last diary entries recall his thoughts as the ship approached South Georgina. 1st January 1922. Rest and calm after the storm. The year has begun kindly for us. It is curious how a certain date becomes a millstone in one's life. Christmas Day is in a raging gale, seems to on the place I dared not to venture, to hope that to, today would be as it was. Anxiety has probably, has probably deepened into me, for until the end of the year things have gone airy. And en 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 engines were, were li liable, furnace cracked, water short, heavy gales, all that physically can go wrong, but the spirits of all on board sound and good. There are two points in the adventure of the diver, and one when a beggar he prepares to plunge, one where a prince he rises with a, his pearl. 2nd January 1922, another wonderful day, find clear sight a headwind, but cheerful for us, after these last days of stress and strain. At 1 p.m. we passed our first berg. The f old familiar sight around me in, me in my memories that my tremendous years have de deadened. Blue caverns shone with sky blow snatched from the heaven itself. Green spurs showed beneath the water and birds must high came sailing by the, as, em, as green as an emerald. Ah, me, the years have, that have gone by since in the pride of young manhood and since where went forth to the fight. I grow old and try, try, 
tired, but must always lead on. 3rd January 1922, another beautiful day. Fortune seems to attend us this new year, but anxious have I been when things are going well. I wonder what it, what in time difficulty will spring on me. All day long and a light wind and clear sky was our happy pos position. I find a difficulty in settling down to write. I am so much on the quay I pray that furnished will hold out. Thankful that I can be crossed and thwarted as a man. 4th January 1922. At last, another 16 days of turmoil and anxiety on the peaceful shining day, sun shining day, we came to anchor in Grishstone. How familiar the coast seemed as we passed down. We saw with full interest the places we struggled of another the boat journey, after the boat journey. Now we must speed all we can, but the pros prospect is not, not too bright for labour and scars. The old smell of dead whale pre permits everything. It is a strange and curious place. A wonderful evening. In the darkening twilight, I saw a Lola star hover, gem like above the bay. Francis Wallace, um, Swanley Scouts and Hextable. Following on, a poem by Robert Harding from the Book of the Quest, 1929. Following on. <clears throat> Why am I here? A young lad, little known to fame, refilled his pipe and poked the log fire into flame. Away on the skyline frowned a snow-capped peak. Around him lay the desert, white and bleak. The grey gull's screams were ominous to hear. Why am I here? No answer came. The cold wind moaned, the boom of cracking ice, a sound of dread. In the fire's red glow, his nimble fancy roamed and winged a hero's motto through his head. Never, never the lost endeavour, never the lowered flag. And it merged with the roar of the waters and the blast from the icy crag. Why am I here to do such work he nobly left behind? to tread his trail in storm and freezing wind. His ache to feel and also strength of heart to be like him and bear the harder part to fight that polar mountain stark and drear. That's why I'm here. Adam Sears, Longfield and Hartley Assistant Cub Leader. Nothing is impossible. Baden Powell's introduction in The Book of the Quest, 1929. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible if we set our minds to it. 21 years ago, there were 25 scouts in the world. If anyone had said, we'll go on and raise two million, two millions of them distributed in every country over the globe, one would have said, no thank you, impossible. But the Jamboree this year will show the impossible has been attained in the short space of 21 years. In our work with the boys, we can do a lot to lift the poorest and most hopeless out of their slough and give them hope and aspiration. We can hold up to them the in innumerable <laughs> histories of self-made successful men to whom in their early days, such a future would have seemed impossible. The scout should be taught to kick the I am from the world of impossible. Um, from impossible. Um, James from Second Swan, a, a extract from Into the Frozen South. Let's finish with a video final word, Mark. Miles' tw 1923 book intro, Frozen South. And now I can hardly believe that it was all true, yet it was true, gloriously so. I too have seen and know all learn and learnt. I too have accomplished with great souls who helped to make our island history. 
Sir Ernest Shackleton, Commander Frank Wilde and the others, all great of heart and fearless of soul, who have been my shipmates and my friends. It was a memorable year indeed, and for all time, I know I must carry with me a vision of tumbling waves by day, and fizz to often break because in the darkness, the grind and bellow of the closing pack, the rush and roar of broken waters, the growler's feet, the hushed noise of the seals as they come to the surface in the still water of the pack. And always shall I see the amid its eyes by the glory of the Antarctica night. And most poignant yet, mine's eye the glory of the Antarctica um, Inspiring of all my memories, there is a lonely cross outwardly against the whirling drive of the South, South Georgian slide. The sign um, which remains to tell of the great spirit that led us forth and died, that, that lives again as a magnet to draw the brave away from the sleek, sleek comforts of life into that outer world of daring, where and men may gaze in our were well, upon the wonders of the Lord. <laughs>